Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the 19th day for our PCNSA series. So in this video, we are going to talk about PAT again and we will be understanding the PAT in a more advanced way and what are the added features which is implemented by Palo Alto Firewall. Okay. So first of all, in this video, we are going to understand what is port. So port is basically a layer 4 port. Okay. What are the ranges? We will try to understand. And what is NAT over subscription? How exactly it works? And we will try to see in the lab how we are going to implement this. There are very limited things that we can change over here, but we will try to do that. Okay. Now, these are the topic which is very much important for understanding purpose. Okay. Which would help in a real time scenario as well as in interview. So I'll request you to please watch this bit video till the end. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand about what is a port and what are the port ranges, right? So whenever we talk about the port, we talk about layer four port numbers in terms of NAT basically. Okay. Not physically the physical port number Ethernet one slash two or Ethernet one slash three, not like that. It is a port layer four port where the services basically runs. So with the help of these two diagrams, we'll try to understand. Okay. First of all, we'll understand what is port. So port where all the services or services will be running on. Let's say this is a PC, uh, which, or he wants to, or he uh, basically needs to access a service like DNS. What DNS does? So DNS is basically translating a host name into IP address, right? So how that protocol needs to work it basically defines in the protocol in the dns protocol but on which port number the traffic should come in so that the dns resolution will happen so it is kind of a transport port that we can say same way if i talk about web services web services runs on port number 80 right so port number 80 if i talk about S, uh, ssh which is 22 uh, telnet 23 like that ftp 21 so there are few ports which is on that particular port number there are few services which runs on it so now let's talk about the ranges so for that aina has given a range of port numbers basically divides a port number for certain use right now there are a few well-known ports which is from starts from 0 to 1 0 to where 2 3 so in that we have well-known port like uh, we have https http ssh telnet ftp there are so many other ports as well which is basically well known which is known right now there are a few registered port numbers like let's say if you are creating an application and that application is working on some port number now you have to go to Aina, okay and you have to tell this is my application and this is how it works so i want to register a port against it so he will be providing you in in this particular range he'll be providing a port number and your application will be used in that particular port number now in dynamic port what happens is this dynamic port mostly used for random purpose let's say for an example if pc is initiating some connection and wants to connect to tcp port number 80 so now the source port number will be this dynamic port numbers so it chooses any of the port number sometime there are few ports which is in this particular range as well mostly it will not be there M most of the time it will be a dynamic port number so source port number is always a dynamic port number okay and even when we does a pat right it also uses this dynamic port number to do the pat right so this is how this particular ranges works in this okay now let's understand how a nat over subscription how it is related to port let's try to find it out 
So friends, let's understand what is NAT over subscription and how exactly it works. With the help of these screenshots that I have posted here, we'll try to understand more with the help of this. Now, before understanding over subscription, let's understand over subscription is just an advanced version of PAT. Okay. Now it is applicable in few models and it is not applicable in few models. We'll try to understand how and how exactly it works. Okay. Now, if you see in this particular screenshots, which I have taken when I have done on pad on Palo Alto device. So for an example, if this is a PC, which is going to be pad behind the Palo Alto firewall to get connected towards internet. Now, whatever the source port number that you see, a random port number, which is getting translated to some other random ports, right? Which is decided by Palo Alto and it does the NAT, right? So if you see this particular numbers and this is not a well-known port numbers, right? It is from dynamic port number mostly. Now, as it is using this particular port number to translate to another port number, there will be a limitation of it, right? So for an example, if I take this dynamic port as an example, out of this, let's say for an example, we have 15,000 port number available. So in Palo Alto firewall, 15,000 co-current connection, like co-current in sense, there will be a in a in a single time at the single time, if we have 15,000 session in Palo Alto firewall, which is happening, the, the pad is happening for that particular all the sessions. In that case, our ports are exhausted and we are going out of the port and will not be able to do a NAT further because we are out of the port now. So in this case, what you have to do if you want to do a pad again, you need to have a new public IP address. So what I'm trying to say is like this. So if you have how many PCs, let's say you have uh, 200 PCs. Okay. Now 200 PCs is initiating connection towards Palo Alto to do a pad to connect to internet. Now, whatever the dynamic, dynamic ports are there or registered port, just keep aside and just think about 15,000 ports are there. I'm just taking a random number. It is not a actual number I'm taking you. Okay. So it's a random number. So let's say if 2000 PCs are initiating 15,000 session through Palo Alto firewall. So how many, how many ports are there? 15,000. Now all ports are used in that case will not be having any other port left. I'm talking about co-current connection guys. Okay. So if there is no port, then the NAT or PAT will not happen for further sessions. In that case, we need a new IP address or new public IP address, right? So in this case, what happens is the over subscription will come into the picture and it solves the problem. How? Let's say if you have 15,000 port numbers. Okay. So let me rub most of the things. Okay. So let me just do this. Okay. Now, if you have 15,000 port numbers, okay, what exactly it does? it basically uses the same port number again and again. So just think of it. Let's say this is 192, 168, 10.1. This is a random port number. So 10.2 or 10.1, some random port. So 10.1 is initiating a uh, initiating. This is just a PC. Just think about it. Okay. Now when it is going to Palo Alto firewall, it is using the same IP address, same port number and destination is a differentiator over here. Now it has some condition 
when it does the over subscription when you have a different destination ip address then only it does this things so what i'm trying to say if this pc is trying to connect to facebook.com if this is this pc is trying to youtube.com if this pc is trying to yahoo.com so those those destinations are different right so in that particular case it uses the same port number every time if it is connecting to same destination in that case it will not use that okay so this is what it is showing here when you enable the nat over subscription what exactly happens is it basically in the pad table it basically records all this information okay so if return traffic comes it checks this information and send to to right node or right machine or right source right so this is how nat over subscription works it basically gives you an extra uh, sessions when you have sort of public ip address okay now it depends on the model to model there are few model which actually supports 8x there are few model which supports 4x 2x and 1x 1x doesn't have anything but 2x like 15000 can become 30000 sessions 4x it can be 60000 sessions 8x it might go to more than a lakh of connections right so this is how or just think about it ki whenever you are doing a nat over subscription you are basically allowing or uh, more ip or more sessions with single public ip address if you have a limited public ip address in that case okay so friends now we'll understand how we can do in practical lab it's very easy we have to do a nat configuration uh, the pad configuration which i have already explained in my previous video so i'll request you all i'll recommend you guys to please watch my previous video if you have not watched okay so was the previous video where i have explained about nat configuration how it exactly it works okay and then you come back to this particular video now we'll go to our lab this is the same lab that i'm using it okay there is no change over here now let's say for an example if you log into polo alto firewall okay you will see the same security policy and same nat policy what we have configured last time right the only thing that you have access or you can change for nat over subscription is this one if you go to device you have to go to sessions and in the sessions if you see here only this option nat over subscription rate okay now you can see over here you have what you have platform default right so if you go and click on this you have 1x 2x 4x 8x now basically if you are not sure about what is the platform which what kind of x it supports whether it supports 2x 4x 8x or something like that so in that case if you are not aware then you go for platform default and if you know then you can select any of that option now how can you find out which model sell, sell, uh, uh, supports which x so if you can go to a data sheet of any of the device you can find that information like for my device i only supports 1x because whatever the license that i have in this particular firewall i supports only 1x so you will not be able to see the nat over subscription example in this practical okay but i'm telling you now here let's say for an example the 3 th uh, 5000 series which supports 4x for an example now you can go back to 2x okay you can go back to 2x 
but you shouldn't be going to 8x because it uses more memory more ram more storage of those session table so in that case if some version supports whatever the support set you can go lower x you shouldn't be going to higher x meaning that if device is supporting 4x you can go to 2x 1x but you shouldn't be going 8x right so always keep in mind like that and the best option is go for platform default it is a best option you can choose it and you can save this configuration right so this is how you can go with this and this is the only change that you can do once you configure pat so you have to configure a pat what i have already configured here and then you have to go to network and change that not over subscription this is just to understand the concept you are not doing any of the changes any of the things or any of the modification any custom modification that you can do you cannot touch that okay so this is all about the NAT over subscription this is what I wanted to cover in this particular video thank you so much for watching till then if you have any suggestions for my video you can send me an email uh, you can uh, send me a message through Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want. And uh, I'll also request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. Thank you and I'll see you in the next.